Hello, Brian Comerford from Classroom Guidance here with the second of our skills summaries, making the boring stuff interesting. So subscribe or follow to keep up to date with all things careers. Most of us, at least 90% of us, have no real clue about what people that work in computers do and the opportunities in this sector. We know there's loads of jobs and great money, but that's about it. Today's video will clear this up for you, looking at the job prospects, the opportunities out there, the makeup of the workforce, and the small matter of how much you can make. The ICT sector comprises of programmers and software developers, IT technicians, ICT professionals, and ICT specialists and project managers. The overall picture for this sector is very healthy. About 120,000 people are employed in this sector. That's one in 20 of us. 65% of these workers were concentrated in the ICT sector itself, in places like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, IBM, Intel, Microsoft, and Oracle. 10% are in industry, in other words, companies making stuff, and 11% work in financial activities. 76% of these workers are male. There are huge opportunities for females here. Any sector with a gender imbalance needs to address this and the scales are beginning to move in the right direction as the percentage of female workers increased by 4% last year. 96% are in full-time employment. That's a great stat. 66 are Irish nationals, so very multicultural, which is a good thing. Supply from the education sector has been growing steadily with 8,000 graduates emerging from the third level system. That's up 1,000 since last year. The ICT sector grew by nearly 8.5% over the last five years and it's still the sector with the highest growth compared to all other occupations. Overall, the most in demand roles were programmers and software developers, followed by IT technicians. Demands for these roles is still growing and they continue to appear on the difficult to fill list. So let's have a look at these roles in a little more detail. There is a shortage of IT product project managers. IT product and project managers are responsible for understanding the business needs of their clients and deciding which technology can solve these needs. Computing, computer science, computer engineering qualifications will bring you to these professions. And there are plenty of FET, PLC apprenticeship routes after the Leaving Cert 2. The salary range is 45,000 to 130,000. There is also a shortage of software developers and software engineers. There are generally two types of software developers. There's systems software developers and application software developers. Systems software developers create or modify software that provides core functions like the operating systems of Windows or Android. Application developers create applications for these operating systems, which help users perform tasks like Microsoft Word for Windows or Google Docs for Android. Software engineers, like traditional engineers, begin with what the user needs. Then they design that software, install it, test it and maintain it. They also instruct computer programmers about what code they need. Software engineers may or may not write any of these code themselves, but they need strong programming skills to communicate with their programmers. Software development or computer programming degrees will bring you to these professions. Other relevant disciplines like computer science, ICT, computing and software engineering, again FET, PLC and apprenticeship routes are available after the Leaving Cert. The salary range for software developers is 70,000 to 145,000. The salary range for software engineers is 40 to 120,000. There is a shortage of IT analysts, engineers. The IT analyst job involves working on the development of a company's IT strategy then implementing and monitoring it. They must work within budget, communicate with developers and provide advice for users of that company's IT systems. Computer science, information technology, engineering and computer related fields or business studies will help you get your foot in the door here. IT engineers apply their technical knowledge to meet their employer's requirements for computer hardware, software and networking tools. They work to develop, test, install, configure and troubleshoot these while creating instructions to help other employers make the best use of the new technologies. Computer systems, information technology, IT management and networking technology courses are good subjects for this job and FET, PLC, apprenticeship routes again are available after the Leaving Cert. Salary range 35 to 85,000. There is a shortage of IT technicians, in particular those with a foreign language. There are two types of IT technicians. 
One, network IT technicians install networking equipment such as routers and switches as well as cabling whilst monitoring networks for problems. Two, desktop support technicians install computers and other IT equipment like printers and copiers as well as operating systems, relevant software and network connections. They also troubleshoot and resolve IT issues for employees, customers and clients. The more experienced IT technicians may install servers and monitor server systems while senior network technicians also help with the design of networks and the actual configuration of switches and routers. Areas of study for this field include computer science, information technology, information technology management and computer engineering. A European language will also be really helpful. The salary range for IT technicians is 26 to 52,000. So to sum up, ICT occupations had the highest growth over the last five years compared to all other occupational groups. This growth is likely to continue with potential skills shortages continuing to occur. COVID impacted the ICT sector by increasing the amount of workers working from home. This means skills can now be accessed from outside Ireland without the need to live here. This could ease skills shortages somewhat. However, in short, ICT occupations in general are a safe bet with good salaries. As long as you are interested in coding, how computers work and are comfortable in maths. So I hope this has made your understanding of computer jobs a little more clear. If you haven't already, subscribe, follow, stay informed. Thank you.